Hey guys, Eli here from Nintendo Network 64. Today I'm going to be sharing my top 10 most anticipated Wii U games list. Keep in mind these will only be retail games of downloadable games such as Child of Light, Two Brothers, and Shovel Knight will be saved for another list. Also, I will not be including games such as Yarn Yoshi and Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem simply because Nintendo hasn't talked about them in about 9 months. So without further ado, let's begin. Number 10. Mario Kart 8. Whoever says that Mario Kart isn't a fun franchise would be lying through their teeth. The game is not only the perfect party game, as it's a blast to play in the same room with others, but it can be an incredibly competitive kart racer as well. Mario Kart 8 looks to take this formula, but improve it in several key aspects. First off, the game looks gorgeous, but more importantly, it seems like Mario Kart 8 will end up being the showpiece title for the Wii U's online, just as Mario Kart 8 did before it for the 3DS and Mario Kart Wii did for the original Wii. I'm excited to see all the new race modes and cannot wait to race against all of my friends online. Number 9 is Bayonetta 2. I've never played the original Bayonetta, but the game was received incredibly well by critics. For that reason, I'm excited for the game and completely not because of the fact that I'm going to be rubbing the game into the faces of all of those who sent death threats to their developers for making Bayonetta 2 a Wii U exclusive. Oh, and dead ass. Dead ass. Batman. Where's Black Mask? Let me go! If you insist. Batman Arkham Origins takes the 8th spot. I have loved all the previous Batman Arkham games, and my excitement for Arkham Origins is no different. I'm incredibly interested to see how the game will work as a prequel, and how all the old characters will be implemented into the new storyline. Number 7 is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I, unlike quite a few people, really enjoyed Assassin's Creed 3. All of the historic references were awesome, and the gameplay was still solid as well. Best of all were the ship combat missions, which were brand new for the franchise. For this reason, my excitement for Assassin's Creed 4 has only grown. In fact, the idea of a Pirates of the Caribbean setting is very appealing, and the fact that the team is once again trying to make the game historically accurate is even more awesome. I cannot wait to blast through a bunch of ships loot them, and sail off with my fabulous ass. Number 6 is Sonic Lost World. Through the years, I've played several Sonic games, but the series has never really grabbed me. I hope that all of that changes with Sonic Lost World. If the game is even half as good as Mario Galaxy, then I'll be satisfied. Sonic Lost World looks like a blast to play through, and even though the concept is very similar to Mario Galaxy, I'm hoping that the title lives up to my incredibly high expectations. Ubisoft takes the fifth spot once again with Watch Dogs. To my extreme initial disappointment, Watch Dogs was not actually a game about a bunch of dogs chasing down cats who try to break into their houses. Turns out it's about the spying, hacking, thingy, majigger. Well, I guess it still looks okay. Just kidding, the game actually looks really amazing, not only graphically, but the gameplay looks incredibly innovative as well. I love new franchises, and I'll absolutely be supporting this one. Super Smash Bros. takes the number 4th spot, taking all of the famous Nintendo characters and putting them together into an incredibly wacky fighting game was an ingenious idea, and I'm still holding on to it. I cannot wait to kick Link's face in with the Wii Fit Trainer. The Triforce of Courage along with the Master Sword is nothing against some nice yoga pants and some killer thighs. Oh, and dadass, dadass. The next spot goes to Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. When I heard that Retro was making a Donkey Kong game instead of a Metroid game, I was ecstatic. I'm probably the only Nintendo fan in the world who cannot stand Metroid, so finding out that Retro was making a sequel to one of my absolute favorite Wii games really excited me. I don't care how similar it looks to past entries because the platforming is tight, creative, and overall brilliant. The graphics upgrade looks neat as well as it really shows off the individual hairs on Donkey Kong's very nice ass. Number 2 is Super Mario 3D World. When I first saw Super Mario 3D World at E3 this year, I was not amused. I wasn't particularly high on 3D Land, and as a result, 3D World style at first didn't really appeal to me. That all changed with the latest Nintendo Direct. Not only does the gameplay look amazing, but what really sold me on the game was the music. It's absolutely amazing. The jazzy soundtrack is epic, unique for most other games aside from Donkey Kong. Oh, and let's not forget how great Mario's ass looks in those overalls. 
Number one is Monoliths X. I've got to admit, I still have Xenoblade sitting on the shelf. I'd always planned to play it, but I could never find 150 hours open in my schedule. Fortunately, I'm probably going to buy X anyways, even though I may never touch it either. The game looks epic, absolutely gorgeous, like an awesome RPG, and most of all, have you seen that mech's ass? There you have it, that is my top 10 most anticipated Wii U games list, or I guess the NAS list mixed in some more. Whatever. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like the video and leave a comment below. If not, why didn't you? Maybe too much ass for you? Make sure to leave feedback as well. But before I go, I do need to hand out a dishonorable mention. This list dishonorable mention goes to Call of Duty Ghosts. Why? Because not only does the game look copy and pasted from previous entries in the franchise, but there ain't no nice asses.